Okay, so when you set up Nina to run a sequence, first thing you have to do is basically find an object. So let's say, for example, you want to image M45, Pleiades, like we did in a previous video. Basically type M45 in this search box here. Click on Seven Sisters. Okay. You can see it's loaded the RA and DEC values in here. And it's giving you a display on the graph. Now, obviously, I'm doing this at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not visible for us. But this is just an example. What you do is lo click Load Image. And there's the Seven Sisters framed up. Maybe you're happy with that framing, but this isn't the purpose of this video. And what all you do is look, click that button, replace as sequence target. And then that RA and DEC values are put into here. So if you want to image a custom object which isn't listed in the database of Nina, you just use the right ascension and declination values. So if we look at the image that we did um, last night, the comet, C19 Y4 Atlas Comet. If you go to this web page, the skylive.com, you'll find a way to search for various objects. So I've got it on the skylive.com slash C2019 Y4 hyphen info. Now that tells me the information about this particular comet. And you can see it's right of sanction and declination. So what we do is we punch those values into Nina, into the framing setup, just like this. So I would put in here just a descriptive name. And in the RA, it was uh, 8, 42, 52. And in the deck, 68, 17, 33. Okay. Then I would hit load image. It takes a little while to, to load this because it's got to draw the, or download the picture from the NASA website. Okay, so there's the position of the sky that you're looking at. You know, that's the RA and deck position. And then just click on replace a sequence target or add a sequence target. So click on, in this case, replace as sequence target. In fact, if you look here, it'll tell you when uh, the position is at its highest and where it is in the north and it's best at sort of 9 o'clock tonight. So some useful information from this panel as well. So click on replace as sequence target. And you can see it's filled out the RA and deck in here. And on the target name, just change that to Atlas Comet. It'd be nice if that changed that automatically. And then you just go on and set your sequence up as normal. So um, start guiding, slew to target, center target. We'd only do low exposures on a comet. So say 500. 15 seconds, set the gain, set the offset, then hit play. I'm not going to hit play because it's connected to my telescope outside and the, the roof's on the observatory, so I don't want that playing about in there with the roof over. And that's how, basically, you set up a custom location using Nina, and in particular, the comet that we imaged last night. So there's an image of the comet where we were imaging it last night. See him in the middle there. That's basically it. That's uh, how you add a custom object into Nina. So uh, that's it for this video. Please subscribe and uh, give us a like if you like the video. Thanks very much.